The life of world-renowned Buddhist meditation master Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche is a fascinating yet controversial matter. Today, we delve into the question, was he a mystic or simply a maniac? Born in a cow shed in eastern Tibet 1939, from a very early age, Trungpa Rinpoche was recognized as the 11th incarnation of the Trungpa Tulkus, renowned meditation masters of the Kagyu lineage. Chogyam Trungpa was a profound spiritual visionary who brought Tibetan Buddhism to the West. His teachings transcended cultural boundaries, emphasizing mindfulness, compassion, and the direct experience of enlightenment. His profound insight into the human condition and his unique ability to communicate complex spiritual concepts set him apart as potentially a true mystic. However, Trungpa's unconventional methods and his lifestyle choices earned him the possible label of a maniac. Some critics point to his advocacy for crazy wisdom, the controversial blending of spiritual teachings with seemingly erratic behavior, as well as his personal struggles with drugs and alcohol. But you have to admit that this darker, more chaotic side does raise questions about the stability of his teachings. Trungpa's mysticism manifested in his deep compassion, and despite his unconventional methods, he demonstrated genuine care for his students, guiding them with wisdom and empathy. His maniacal side, though, is evident in his polarizing leadership style. And while some admired his bold approach, others found it authoritarian and disruptive, often leading to fractures within the communities that he established. Although Trungpa's mystic side does shine through in his unparalleled ability to bridge Eastern and Western cultures, establishing meditation centers and founding the Naropa University, he sought to blend ancient wisdom with modern understanding. This harmonious integration reflects his deep mystical insight into the evolving needs of a global audience. But on the flip side, his maniacal reputation stems from unorthodox teaching methods and the provocative nature of his actions, from encouraging confrontation to challenging societal norms. Trungpa's approach was divisive, leaving some to question the sanity behind the mysticism. Chogyam Trungpa remains a paradox, both mystic and maniac. But perhaps it's in embracing the seemingly chaotic elements of his persona that we find the true essence of his mysticism. The problem with so many modern day mystics is that they present themselves in this unobtainable manner, almost representing sainthood. But Trungpa, he always stood by his strong belief that as humans, we should remain fearless in representing ourselves in the misshapen beauty of who we are as people. His unorthodox methods challenged our perceptions, forcing us to confront the limitations of conventional thinking. It's the very madness that propelled him beyond the ordinary, making him not just a mystic, but a revolutionary one. In this fusion of mystic and maniac, Trungpa's legacy endures as a testament to the transformative power of embracing the unconventional on the path to enlightenment. Meditation nowadays seems as if it's taken a potentially dangerous turn, moving away from Trungpa Rinpoche's methods engineered in a way to help us cut through things like spiritual materialism, overcoming our own neurosis, and becoming more in touch with reality. We now see meditation being used in a way that inspires greed, competition, and personal victory. And this video here delves directly into that topic.